you have your Bible this morning, let's go to the book of Colossians. No surprise there. Colossians chapter 2. As we are traveling through this letter that Paul wrote from a prison in Rome to a church in Colossae. And he's writing to them about the preeminence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it seems that with every verse he is just reinforcing this reality that Christ should come first in everything. In everything in my life and everything in your life. Everything in life, Christ is supposed to have the ranking position. And as we come to the verse today, you may look at it and scratch your head and say, now, wait a minute, how does this fit in to the preeminence of Christ? But we're going to explore this verse today, verse number 11, and see how it also reinforces this Christ first position. Let's begin in verse 9 and read uh, down through verse 12. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. The title of the message today is The Circumcision of Christ. And it comes from verse 11. So let's take a moment before we get into the study and pray and ask God to guide us into his truth. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to come to you today. and We want to give you the first place in our lives. We're not simply here to have a meeting. We're not here to run a program or put on a performance. We are here to worship you, to adore you, to meet with you, to learn more about you through your word. And Heavenly Father, I ask that you would help each and every one of us to have all distractions removed from our minds for the next few minutes, that we might give you our wholehearted attention that you so rightly deserve, that our minds would not wander to lesser things. Father, I ask that you would fill me with your Holy Spirit, that you would enable me to preach and teach your word with the power that it has, and that I in no way would restrain or hinder that. And Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit would take that word and drive it deep into the heart of every believer here today, that it might bring about life transformation that gives you the glory you so rightly deserve. And Father, we ask this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Verse 11 is not a verse that most would choose to preach. And uh, those of you who are, who are preachers in the room today would agree with that because of its obvious subject. In that one verse, circumcision is mentioned three times. Notice it again. In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in the putting off of the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. But as we are studying through the book of Colossians, we believe that all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Uh, we believe that we are supposed to preach and teach the whole counsel of God. And so even though the subject in this verse may not be one that's real comfortable for me to stand up in front of a room full of people and discuss, it is my God-given duty to do that because God placed it in this text. And you know what I love? I, I love that it proves the power of expository preaching. You see, expository preaching is when you take a text, take a book, and go verse by verse by verse, exposing everything that God has placed in there, not going through the Bible, picking and choosing what subjects you will preach. You see, because honestly, this would not be my go-to verse for a Sunday morning message. But God put it in this order in the book of Colossians. 
And as we study and examine this verse and see this subject, we're going to discover a rich spiritual truth. And so I'm going to ask you to follow along with me this morning as I unlock the life-changing truth of this verse. And you will find even more reason to put Christ first as you understand this subject of circumcision. 